Hello, hello, hello. I just want to remind you that we have Caramu each and every Friday night right here in Montgomery, Alabama. If you want to find out where, if you want to find out what time, all you need to do is call this number, and that is 334-399-7737. That's 334-399-7737. John Henry Drums, home of the Majestic Mind Matters University. You are listening to John Henry Drums. Home of Majestic Mind Matters University. Hello, I'm John Henry. And just like many of you, I was raised by my mother to go to church. I was raised by her to think that in going to church, I would have a chance to make it to a heaven that I found out in time never really existed. And now in knowing that the falsehoods of religion in which I was raised weren't true and were never true. And I was being taught things by people who didn't know any better. Yes, there was a time where I blamed certain people for my miseducation, but I no longer do that. And I also present my information and my text and the things that I post on social media in a way that, look here, our people have become lazy in the wrong thing. There are things we're supposed to be lazy in, but the wrong thing we're lazy in is researching, studying, and reading things for ourselves. We have been programmed to expect everything prepackaged or also and microwave, which means quick, fast, in a hurry, which means whatever said, hey, I got it. I'm not gonna go read about it. But I put things in a way that maybe I don't include the name of the person who is giving the information. Is that wrong? According to our people, no, it's not. Because if you were connected to our people, There are certain people, when you hear their voice without their name being called, you'll know who they are. I guarantee you, if Snoop Dogg got on the radio and talked for 30 minutes without even saying who he was, you would know who he is. If Michael Jackson started talking, you would know who he is. If Kevin Hart started talking, you would know who he is. You get my point? We're so out of touch and so out of focus with our own people that there are certain people that we really need to listen to and hear, messengers, that it doesn't matter whether or not I give a formal, uh, great uh, presentation of who they are. I guarantee you again, if Muhammad Ali, if I play some of his stuff, guess what? You know who he is. What am I saying? Get focused and get in touch with our people and leave theirs alone and watch your life change and turn around to a point where you begin to thirst to know yourself. You begin to thirst to know about us. You begin to thirst and know also what you will need to help promote yourself, not us. I'm not here to promote me. I'm fine right now where I am. Although every day, each and every day, I'm trying to grow and knowledge and wisdom and an understanding. It took me a long time to get to a point where I would record something like this and let my people know where I'm coming from. Yes, I've been in the military. I've been to the schools. I've been around this world twice. I've been beat, tased, pepper sprayed, stomped and kicked. All while I was in handcuffs in front of my beautiful wife. I endured that, not on one occasion, but on several occasions. I'm not soft, even though if you see me, I may look that way. But each and every day when I get up, I have a passion. To do what? Present facts to my people. 
And yes, I've been in religious organizations where you would have people to yell at you, get very temperamental with you. They would put, try to put fear in you, try to make you think that God was against you if you didn't do what you they told uh, you to do. Because why? They want you to support their agenda. It had nothing to do with you. Let's look at doctors. If a doctor told you how to get well, how many patients would a doctor keep? Could that doctor send his children to Ivy League schools, buy them those expensive cars, or live in an expensive house if he told you how to get well after all those years he spent? And then coming to find out if he read a few books that what he, what he was taught was bullshit. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing when you have and put educated queens around you, like my wife, who's an LPN. She's a nurse. And it may not seem like much to other people, but guess what? She can aspire, and she inspires me. And she's excelling right now. And she's not trying to excel and going to get educated more and further from the two bobs and in their schools. Schools that teach you what? Well, they teach you what they want you to know so you can maintain yourself to continue to operate along the lines of their agenda. But watch this. When we as a people, and I use the term, and I'm going to use the term a lot, black people, when we as a people, and I say black people, and I use that term because us being educated in the two bob schools that's who many of us think we are but i know better that is not the lesson of concern today or the information of concern today what i'm concerned with is us understanding something and that is watch this stop focusing on the messenger and focus on the message connect yourself to your people so we can grow as a nation every time we were invaded by the Europeans what did they do the first thing they did was tear down the structure of who we were and tear down the culture of who we were when we were brought here many of us our ancestors on those slave ships and as you learn and study and grow you're going to learn the names of those slave ships and some of you who sit in those churches man Praising a God that enslaved your people don't realize how evil you are for the way you think about God. And we still have people today, pastors especially. Think about it. If a pastor really told you the truth, you wouldn't sit in church every Sunday giving him money, paying him to miseducate you also spiritually. You wouldn't do it. But then what happens is, as I've heard pastors speech, speak and say, you get involved with emotions. You get involved with lacking for, uh, liking people because of association. And it becomes hard to disassociate yourself from something that at one moment it makes you feel like you're the greatest in the world. But then again, think about your pastor also as he stands there. He'll say things that make you feel like you are the epitome of your own damn world. And that's some twisted shit. That's some really twisted shit. And then what they will do also is they will congregate and socialize one another, knowing they can't get along because even in those uh, organizations of association with their pastors, they know the bullshit they're teaching people ain't true and ain't real. And I'm a Ask this question, I'm going to leave this shit alone. They talk about Noah's Ark. You're trying to tell me that two penguins came from the Arctic to get on the Ark over in the Middle East, and I'm going to leave that shit alone. You're telling me that when Moses took the people over to Canaan land, which was only 250 miles, but it took 40 years, I'm going to leave that shit alone. Those are just a few things that you need to talk to your pastor about and ask him about. And yes, I have people, black people especially, church folks, trying to do and say or plant mental seeds of delusion or mental seeds of, I 
guess you would say, confusion in my mind with certain things, but it doesn't work with me. And it doesn't work with a lot of our people because once our people begin to read, study, research, know things for themselves, there's a comprehension that's beyond and extends way beyond anything you'll ever know. And that knowing is a thing called what? Self-knowledge. This next piece that I'm getting ready to put on and play. Now, I'm being straight up. I do not know this man's name because this information was taken from YouTube. And I'm going to give you the uh, YouTube address also. So you can go there and seek and get in more information from the person who put this thing out. But it's very important because... It has to deal with something that's been very important to me, and that is, and it's called Black Woman is God documentary. And that's on YouTube, and you can Google it for yourself. But being raised in a church where the man is the head of the family, and I believe that to be true and be so, because understand, in this day and age, that needs to take place, needs to happen, a man over the family to take care of them, because why? being brought here during our times of enslavement, things that have taken place. Many of you may even be familiar with a thing called the Widow Lynch Letter, which is a thing that was designed by the two bobs to divide us. Well, we shouldn't be divided. But until we come under one roof and one mind, and I do know and understand that our people, these so-called leaders, our people, even the kids, and the gangs, hey, trust me. I know that no matter where you are, no matter how many people that you're above or over or have guidance or are guiding, I should say, you earn that position and you establish yourself as somebody who can pull those people together and who will listen to you. But guess what? That was for a season and for a time. Now the time and the season is for true leadership to come forward. Men and women who are willing to submit themselves to the people who are going to teach them facts. No shenanigans. No bullshit. You know, do you have to go to a, sh a church to shake, shout, and shiver and slobber everywhere? and say that this is God. Maybe some of you do because it's proof because all of us, even myself at one point in time, in seeking myself, was looking for something greater, was looking for something more, was looking for something better, and I found it. You see, when I started looking for God, I found myself. And when I found myself, I really and truly found God. So this piece that I have from a video that I have went ahead and made into an audio is about the black woman. And I truly do believe the black woman is God because after you hear this, I encourage you and I truly hope that you will research the terms, the terminology and information that I give you. I don't want you to trust everything that even out of my mouth that I say. I'm not the white man, I'm not the two Bob, because remember, when we were brought here and placed on plantations, we had to trust these people because we didn't know these people. And today, people, our people still feel as though we still have to trust them. We don't. All you need to trust in is how can you get yourself in a position where you can get financially able to do what? Segregate yourself. Segregate yourself from everything and anybody that's not concerned with our people coming together as a nation. That's very serious. I took a time, this time, to speak and say this. And I really want you to listen to this audio again, taken from video that I retrieve from YouTube and the topic really is
which is so true.